I took every single coding class offered on She Codes and learned how to build an industry standard website. So let's figure out if these classes are right for you too. Now I know there's a ton of boot camps out there and I'm also a big fan of like Udemy, Skillshare and Cod Academy that I use all the time, but She Codes was my absolute favorite. The first question you should ask yourself is why do you even want to learn how to code? So I kind of put these into two different categories if you want to take these classes. One, you want to become a full functioning uh, front end developer, which is what they call web development and get a job after taking all four classes. The other half of things, and this is the bucket that I was in, was I wanted to build my own website. Now I didn't wanna just make a website, I wanted to code my own website. I wanted like the street cred of like being like, oh, I built that. So that's what I was focusing on. And if you are just wanting a website, then this isn't necessarily the class for you because there are other applications like Squarespace, Wix, or WordPress that don't require any code and you can get a website up and running within a matter of days. But if you're like me and want to actually code or learn how to code, these are right for you. Some people ask, what if I'm an absolute beginner? Is this class still right for me? I personally was an absolute beginner. I had not touched web development. I think if this is your first language, Web development is the best thing to start with because it's so visual as you code, you visually get to see what your code looks like, unlike other like data structure um, coding languages like Python or SQL. So I think this is perfect. If you're an absolute beginner, you should definitely take this course. Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff. How much does this thing cost? So it is kind of spendy. It ranges from anywhere from $99 all the way to $749. Now they do vary in the weeks. So something which, which is like the plus, it's eight weeks. So of course it's gonna be a lot more expensive than the basics, but you have to take them in order. So it's not like you're paying all this money up front anyway. The best part about She Codes is the structure of the class. They do a three part learning structure where you learn and watch a tutorial first and then you move into a challenge. And then af after you submit your challenge and like URL, you will then see a solution video pop up. And I think that is the best way to learn. Now there is an accountability aspect to She Codes. Like there are days where you specifically start and specific days where you turn in your homework and someone actually grades your homework, which is really nice. Now each class also has a real life project. So you will be able to use your skills like on a real project rather than just learning the whole thing. Now there are extensions as well. So if you are like on vacation one week and you can't turn in the homework that Monday, like no big deal, just get an extension. And then there is a Slack, which is really nice because I have gone on there multiple times and asked questions where the graders and other people will respond and give you feedback or you can learn from other people's mistakes. Okay, so let's jump into the classes. The first class is She Codes Basics. Well, as the name kind of tells you, it is the basics of web development. So you're gonna be learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Visual Studio Code, which is where you will be coding. It's your code editor, which is the best part about She Codes is they actually show you what you should be coding in and give you tips and tricks that way. So it's not like you're just like learning the, the code, but you, you don't learn the, the fundamentals. So it is a three week course. It is $99 and your final project is a static website. Now mine wasn't the best, <laughs> it was kind of ugly looking, but it's fine. You're learning the bare, bare minimums and you also get a certificate at the end. The next class is She Codes Plus. And I personally think it was the hardest class, <laughs> totally worth it though, but you're gonna get the basics again. So you're gonna get that HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Visual Studio Code, but then they're gonna tack on APIs, GitHub, and Netlify. Now these are very important because it, it talks about hosting and it talks about saving your code, which is something you'll need when you go into the workforce. It was eight weeks long. It was $749, which is a lot of money, but you get to build this really cool weather app at the end. And you also get a certificate of completion that you can link on your LinkedIn page. The third class is She Codes Responsive. You're gonna get the basics again with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Visual Studio Code, and then the API GitHub and Netlify that you got from the previous course. But then they're gonna kind of shift gears and talk about 
search optimization, um, responsiveness, which is when you go from basically a computer and then down to a smaller and smaller screen and then flexing between those devices. Now it is a five week course. I personally think this was my favorite because the project you get to make your own personal resume basically or your website and host it, which is really cool. It is about $379, which is a lot, um, but you do get a certificate and you can put it on your LinkedIn as well. The last class they offer is React. Now React is a framework. So think of it like um, industry standard organizing of code. <laughs> That's how I would kind of refer to it. So again, you're gonna get the basics with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Visual Studio Code. You're gonna do a couple different API calls, which was my personal favorite. You're gonna use GitHub again, Netlify, and then you're going to learn React as well. This is an eight week course. So when I just finished, it's $399. And the projects you do are pretty cool. So you're gonna do a weather app that actually animates and moves, which was my personal favorite project. And then a dictionary app as well, where you use a dictionary API and you can type in um, any word and it will show you pictures and other things like that. And again, you get a really cool certificate. This one's like the darker version, so it's extra cool. So that leads us to our final question. Is this class right for you? So if you are going into web development, you wanna be a junior web developer, I suggest taking all four courses in the exact order. I wouldn't hop around too much unless you already know some of the basics. So take them in order, take basics plus responsive and react, and you will be prepared for a full-time web developer job. Now, if you just want to have a static website, you don't need any animation, you don't want any of that fancy stuff, skip React and just do the first three courses all the way up to responsiveness because phones are so important these days, you need to have that responsiveness. If you just wanna have a blog, then you don't necessarily need to learn how to coding unless you're super interested in it. And you could just use any of the hosting platforms out there like Wix or Squarespace, and you could just completely skip the courses in general. But I do feel like there's so much value in learning how to code that it's totally worth just at least taking the, the basics class. If you are interested in seeing a more detailed review of the React course. I did a whole semester on it and talked a lot more in depth about it. Click here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.